now let us discuss about SOP, POS, canonical SOP and canonical POS. First, uh, here all these are mainly useful in order to represent Boolean expressions. First, let's see what is SOP. SOP stands for sum of products. That means sum. Sum means or operation will be performed on multiple product. Product can also be called as anti terms. So, sum of product. So, we need to perform sum operation or operation on multiple product terms. Product can also be called as and operation. Let's see an example here. Here we are performing sum operation on these two product terms. Likewise, here we are performing sum operation on these two product terms. Okay. So, product means we need to perform and operation. Okay. Uh, here uh, uh, in SOP, one means we have to represent the actual variable that is A or B or C. Whereas, zero means we have to represent complement of that variable like A bar, B bar, C bar. Likewise, let us see the next point here. Each term in SOP is a combination of input variables when the output that is F is high 1. So, here each term is a combination of input variables when the output is high. So, for that let us take an example. So, the, uh, yeah, here we have a truth table. Uh, now, we have to represent this truth table in SOP form as well as in POS form. So what is SOP? SOP means each term in SOP is a combination of input variables when the output is high. So, whenever the result is 1, then we have to take the term in SOP. So, here when the output is 1 here, F represents output here, A, B, C are the input variables. So, F is 1 in 3 cases. So, we have to take those combination of variables in SOP. So, in SOP, one means, uh, one means bar complement. We can write bar or dash. Uh, I am sorry. One means actual variable, whereas zero means complement of that variable. So, uh, here we have one. So, the combination of input variables are 0, 0, 1 means A bar, B bar, C. So, this is the first product term. Plus, what is the second term? A bar, B, C. A bar, B, C. Next, what is the combination of the variables? A, B bar, C. A, B bar, C. Or we can write as here what is the function F? F of what are the input variables? A, B, C is equal to. Here we are performing plus operation, summation operation. For summation we use as sigma. We know that these, these are nothing but min terms, product terms. Min terms are represented by small m. Small m of here 0, 0, 1 in decimal notation is 1, uh, 1 comma. 0 double 1 in decimal notation is 3. So, 1 comma 3 comma 5. So, 1 comma 3 comma 5. So, that is about what is SOP. Now, let us see about POS. POS stands for product. POS stands for what? SOP stands for sum of products. Whereas, POS stands for product of sum. Product of sum. Uh, what is POS? Product that is under operation on multiple sum terms. Sum means R operation terms. Okay. Uh, let us take an example here. Uh, here we have, here we are performing a product operation on these two sum terms. Here we are performing product operation on these two sum terms. So, POS, the name itself specifies the meaning. POS means product of sum. So, we need to perform product operation on multiple sum terms. So, product means under operation, whereas sum means R operation. So, product operation on multiple sum terms. Product operation on multiple sum terms. Uh, here in POS, 1 means complement of the variable, whereas 0 means actual variable. So, SOP and POS are entirely different. In SOP, 1 means actual variable, 0 means complement of the variable, whereas in POS, 0 means actual variable, whereas 1 means complement of that variable. Here, let us see the next point. Each term in POS is a combination of input variables when the output is 0. So, when the output is low, then we have to write 
combination of the input terms okay uh, here we have three cases where here we have uh, three cases are over here we have five cases where the output is zero where the output is low so first combination is zero 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 this is pos so zero means a zero means a whereas one means a bar so we can write this as a plus b plus c so a, f of a b c is equal to uh, here what we are doing we are representing this truth table in sop form and pos form okay uh, so what is the first combination a plus b plus c so a plus b plus c second combination a plus b bar plus c a plus uh, what is the second combination a plus b bar plus c uh, next the third combination uh, one means what uh, here one means a bar a bar plus b plus c so a bar plus b plus c uh, next combination uh, what is the next combination one means what bar here so a bar plus b bar plus c so a bar plus b bar plus c uh, last combination is uh, one means what here a bar so a bar plus b bar plus c bar so we can or we can write this as here we are performing product operation for product operation we have to use pi variable so pi uh, here uh, it is not visible here so let us write here let us write here so pi pi product operation we know these are nothing but max terms max terms are represented by capital m of here zero means uh, here zero zero means in decimal number zero uh, next zero one zero in decimal notation is what two two next one double zero in decimal notation is four uh, and the last two combinations are six seven so pi m of 0 comma 2 comma 4 comma 6 comma 7 so in the examination initiate of truth table this function this function will be given simplify the expression pi m of 0 comma 2 comma 4 comma 6 comma 7 or simplify the expression uh, f of a b c equal to sigma m of 1 comma 3 comma 5 so truth table is not given only this expression will be given uh, and then then we can uh, simplify this expression either with the help of boolean algebra rules or carnal math so that question will also be given okay so by using which concept we have to simplify the boolean expressions we have to simplify this expression okay so already we have seen uh, uh, how how to simplify uh, the corresponding problem with the help of the boolean uh, boolean how to simplify the boolean expression with the help of boolean algebra rules uh, in the future videos we will see we will discuss about how we can simplify the uh, expression with the help of the boolean algebra rules now let us see about canonical sop canonical sum of products so this can also be called as standard sum of products so let's see the definition here it is a sum of min terms product terms where each term includes all the variables if you take this example so this expression is in sop form uh, here actually here we have the output here we have three input variables such as a b c but the first two term contains only one variable only two variables second term also contains two variables third term also contains three variables whereas canonical sop means each product term should contain all the input variables if you take this example uh, a bar b b bar c plus a bar b c plus a b bar c so this expression is in canonical sop form why because here each term contains all the three input variables so this is about what is canonical sop or standard sop now let us discuss about canonical pos or standard pos so already we have seen this example uh, a plus b bar into b plus c into a bar plus b bar c here also we have three input variables but the first term contains only two variables second term also contains two variables third term third term contains three variables this is product of sum but this is not canonical pos canonical pos means each term should contain all the input variables if you take this example uh, this term this is canonical this is this expression is in canonical pos form why because this term contains all the three input variables this term also contains all the three input variables these terms are also contains all the three input variables so this is about what is sop what is pos canonical sop or uh, standard sop or canonical pos or standard pos we, uh, we will use all these terms mainly all these concepts mainly in order to uh, represent the boolean expressions